Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. Or if you're a return viewer subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So, you've decided you want to get started with OpenSense, and you want to do it on Protectly. Well, there's a pretty good reason to do that. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of bundles that... Uh, protectly and I have created now I want to tell you up front I make no money off of these bundles the only way I make money off this is if you buy it and you want further consulting uh, based on what is going on with your protectly box and sometimes people do sometimes people don't you want to plug and play this is gonna allow that to happen so the bundles that exist over at protectly.com and I'll leave links to these down below uh, the first one is just the protectly box so if you're not familiar with the Protectly 4 port, I do have a 6 port config coming, but this is the 4 port. This is what we started with. Yours will not look like this. I painted mine uh, to look like this specifically because I thought it was really cool in the TI-568B standard. And this is the box that I use here and load configs on and, and uh, help people with here. Now, when you get uh, yours, we'll get to this in a second. First, let's look at the uh, let's look at the bundle. So the first bundle, you save um, a few bucks, and it comes with the Protectly device. Like I said, yours won't look like this, but it comes with this device, and it's got eight gigs of RAM, sixty-four gigs of storage on an SSD, Core Boot, and OpenSense, and a configuration file that I have provided to um, Protectly. Now. Um, this is a very nice box. I suggest if you're looking to dip your toe in and get started, this is the one that I recommend. 289 comes with a 12 12 month warranty, one year warranty. The other bundle, which you're going to see me uh, talk about once I get my new lab rack put to, put together, is you get the Protectly, and then you get a rack mount shelf, and you get a UPS specifically for this device. So, you've ordered your Protectly and it showed up. You ordered the Willie House Special. What do you get? Well, the first thing you're going to get in the box is you are going to get your Protectly. Yours is going to look like this. This is a live box that is going to a customer. I'm working on a config for this customer and this is the one that they're going to get. So, you're going to get this. You're going to get an AC power adapter. If you're not in the States and you don't use the standard power adapter that we have here, you're going to get all of those ends, all those, you know, different uh, plugins. You're going to get that vase mount, which if you want to mount this to the back of a monitor or you want to rack mount it, you're going to need this. And then you get a thank you for purchasing, getting started card. And if you, uh, if you do register, they give you an additional six months of warranty at no charge. So that's what comes in the box. And this is how we're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug your power adapter. Uh, mine is plugged into the surge suppressor below my desk. You're going to plug that into a power source. Then what you're going to do is, oh, the other thing you get, console cable. Sorry about that. You're probably not going to need that. But maybe you will, so hang on to it. Before you plug the power into the Protectly, what you're going to do is you're going to plug a uh, LAN cable, Ethernet cable, from your computer into... The LAN port. So this port right here, by default, is the LAN port, the second port in. You're going to plug this cable into your computer or into your switch that has your computer plugged into it. You're going to want to make sure you've got no other routers plugged in, which is why I suggest when we first start doing this, this goes directly to your computer. Then what you need is you need an Ethernet cable that goes to your Internet source, whether it's a cable modem, DSL modem, Starlink, uh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is... This cable needs to go to your internet source, and that is going to go into the WAN port. So now you've got a cable in your WAN port, you've got a cable in your LAN port. You are now ready to go ahead and plug the power in. So I plugged the power in. You get a little bit of a, of a chirp. You will start seeing some activity on the LAN ports. On the front, you're going to notice that the blue LED power light is on. This is going to take a few seconds to boot, and we're going to get a real nice little tone once it's booted, and then our computer should recognize that there's a new internet source. And I'm going to show you the default username and password for this device, and that's really it. You could stop there if you wanted. You don't have to do any other 
configuration, you could just go. The one thing that we are going to do is I want you to change the password. And in fact, this configuration is going to make you change the password when you log in for the first time. Now, if you are interested in making your Protectly look like this, I can give you the color codes for the paint markers that I bought. So if you shoot me an email or fill out the contact form, I will give you the codes. And I just sat down one day and did this. So it's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And I think it looks awesome. I also verified that the paint did not mess with any of the thermal, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, thermal dynamics or whatever. There was the tone. So now what's going to happen here in a second is uh, we're going to open a command prompt and we're going to do an IP config. And on our local Ethernet adapter right here, we can see that we got 10.255.10.11. There's a good chance that if your PC is the only thing plugged into this, that's the IP that you're going to get. Regardless of what IP address you do get, you want to make sure that you get an IP that's in the 10.255.10 network and that it shows the default gateway is 10.255.10.1. That is very important. And so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to browse in a web browser to 10.255.10.1. All right, when you bring up 10.255.10.1 for the first time, you may get a security warning that says that the, the certificate can't be trusted. You can click advance in your browser and click proceed. That is going to bring you to the OpenSense login screen. Now, if you look at other tutorials, they're going to have you log in as root. I have disabled the root user for this. You should not log in to root unless you're instructed to do so. So root has actually been disabled here. The username is admin and the password is Sharpie, S-H-A-R-P-I-E with a capital S. When you log in for the first time, it's going to make you change the password. So the old password is Sharpie. S-H-A-R-P-I-E with a capital S. And then you need to select a new password and it has to be a minimum of eight characters. All right, we've changed our uh, password for admin. The box should be happy. So we're gonna go over here to the dashboard. And there's a couple other things that you should probably do. Get familiar with this interface. You can see for the LAN, we've got 10.255.10.1. I selected that so it wouldn't compete with any other networks you may have. WAN is DHCP by default. You can see we've got an IP there. The other thing that you're probably going to want to do is you're probably going to want to do this click to check for updates. You're going to want to make sure that your box is always up to date. So... Once you click that check for update, it's going to audit the system and it is going to let you know whether there are new um, updates. And you can see right here that, that there are. So we're on 1.15.10 underscore two and the new version is 1.15.10 underscore three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna update now. Now there's a couple processes to this. So it's gonna go out, it's gonna find all the new software. So that's what this first part's doing. Then the second part of the upgrade is actually going to upgrade all of the packages on your firewall. And it is a good idea to do that. So right now it's checking again. And it tells you there is a new version. So we're gonna close that and we're gonna click update now. The firewall will reboot directly after this firmware update. We're going to click OK on that. And now this thing is going to go to work updating the firewall. It's going to reboot. You'll get those tones. You'll get a couple tones. Be patient. Do not power it off during this process. Whatever you do, I would leave this screen up so that you can watch it. But just know that it is rebooting. It's going to tell you on this screen what it's doing. Don't do anything else while it's updating. Definitely don't power off. So that should get you going with OpenSense. You could stop here and just use this firewall as is. If you need more advanced configurations, you can reach out and we can help you with that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, reach out at, uh, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to use our affiliate links to support the channel, they are down below. 
They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.